Hello YouTubers, today's video is a look at the Recpro Charles Replacement RB Jackknife Sofa Sleeper. Today I want to give you a look at my most recent upgrade which is a Recpro Charles RB Jackknife Sofa Love Sleep Seat. Now, before I go into this, first thing I want to do is apologize for any background noise but I just could not wait any longer before I put another video up. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to mention is that most of you who have already been watching me for quite a while understand that I don't put up a video if I don't have anything good or any good content. I try to make it uh, uh, an interesting video, something that might apply to uh, either the new or the average RV owner or camper owner, whatever you want to say, and also to the do-it-yourselfer. I try to keep them generally related to just either the RV, campsites, uh, anything along that line, sometimes sites that we see as we're traveling. But we really haven't done a lot since the last time I uploaded a video and there just isn't any good content to show. I do have a couple of things coming up. I'm going to be showing um, or giving an update on my Garmin as well as my Halovu uh, camera system. But in the meantime, I just wanted to uh, show you this couch that I got. I ordered this through Amazon and I, I saved a considerable amount of money. Uh, for this particular one, which is a 72 inch, it, my cost, or the cost on that was $720. Uh, there was a $75 delivery charge on it. Even that being said, ordering it through Rec Pro, Pro would be more than that. And this particular couch came with a leg set, whereas the other one, if I were ordered the exact same thing, the exact product, by the same manufacturer, from the manufacturer, I not only would have paid as much as what the couch and the shipping would have cost, but I also would have paid an extra $30 for the leg kit, which is just a couple of pieces of square tubing to mount on the bottom of the frame and attach that to your space. Now, first of all, before I did any ordering, and I recommend this for everybody else, whether you're going to get it from Rec Pro or from Amazon, is to go online and order for only a dollar the color swatches from Rec Pro. That's what these are, and they have all different colors of what the product is, and on the back it tells you what the color is actually called. So that would pre prevent you from ordering the wrong color. Case in point, this the black, when you look on it online, looks just about like the mahogany or the chestnut. Very easy to confuse one or the other. And with the cost being so high and the shipping sometimes are sent up, set quite a ways out, you don't want to get the wrong color in. My objective was to order it the same color as what the other furniture was that I have inside the camper and excuse the noise if this camera gives you a little chattering when I turn it. But I also wanted to sort of match my swivel rockers that I bought last year. And they come very close. So, now again, to put it in was very simple. The legs 
for it are just basically, uh, I'd say approximately two foot by uh, 16 inches square tubes. Holes are already pre-drilled. Only takes two screws on each end to mount the chairs to the uh, framework. Now, as I said, I had to order the legs because, and I apologize if this doesn't show up very good, but this is what the whole system was mounted with. I'll kind of lay that out, kind of give you a better idea. That's pretty much how it was mounted on each end. And then on the one end, it was screwed into the side of my dinette. So it is all underneath the cushion itself. I don't know if this is going to give you a good enough look, but underneath this, the jackknife, it's all right down here, and I mounted it just using one board to hold it in place. That wasn't very good, but that's about the best I could do. <laughs> Rather than the video, the whole thing, taking it out, it's going to be a little bit different for everybody. The one thing I have to add is the model I took out actually was 71 and a half inches long. This one is 72, so I had an extra half inch. I was prepared to move my booth just another half an inch or an inch depending on what worked out the best however I found by just simply lifting up the one end sliding the whole thing in and then pushing uh, to the rear as I push it down it slid right into place and again to keep it from slipping out I just took this one piece that was part of the leg and I placed that on the bottom of the leg resting on top of the crossbar or the foot and I screwed this right into my bent or to my uh, dinette and that keeps it from moving around and it fits in there so tight that it's not going to slide forward or tip forward or tip backwards or start to slip out. So it's in there rather uh, securely. The other thing is, and this was an added bonus for me, that the old couch had removable cushions. These turn out to be perfect matches or about as close as you're going to get and I've got armrests and no extra charge bringing it in one man can do it taking it out same taking the old one out one person can do it as well so overall the whole job went very well another thing is is when I ordered this through Amazon they gave me approximately four to six week delivery time on it I planned it accordingly because I knew I was going to be taking a trip up north and I was going to be gone for a week. The day I left, which is only two weeks into the, the date of the order, I got a phone call from FedEx saying they wanted to set up a delivery date. And when I says I'm not going to be back for a week, they says they couldn't do that. It had to be within the next couple of days or else they're going to send it back. Fortunately, I had somebody on hand that could meet it. I also made sure that I gave them the code to get into my garage so they could put the whole pallet with the couch in it or in the garage. So that all worked out well. 
and as it worked out, my neighbor was here at the same time, so it got placed inside, fortunately, during the rain, so it stayed dry and uh, without a hitch. Now again, I ordered this through Amazon, and I had ordered it on September 6th, and it showed up after only two weeks. I will leave the links to Amazon, you know, in the comments. But this particular couch comes in lengths of 62 inches, 68, and 72 inches. And, as I said, they, they are 11 inch legs and they are included. That's a big savings. Even if you pay the same amount on, on Amazon as you do on, uh, uh, from Rec Pro, Pro, you will still be saving $30 because that's what Rec Pro charges you. And I guarantee you that you will probably end up using though that leg kit. Uh, trying to salvage the old wood set was not possible. Now also, on the very front of that couch, uh, you'll see like a kick plate or a foot, uh, face plate or front plate there. That is separate from it. Of course, it is included. All you have to do is put on three clamps and that mounts to the hardware of the couch. And then when you, you could either pull that off to get more stuff in there, make it easier access or to vacuum with it, or else just leave it on and we just lift up the, the couch and uh, drop things in after we lift up the cushions, which, you know, start to put it in the bed position. So, real nice added feature. It dresses up the, um, the camper, and uh, overall it was pretty easy to put in. I'd say the time that I spent taking out the old one putting in a new one was right around an hour to hour and a half, and I took my time. So I just made sure I kind of watched the, uh, the uh, instructions or read the instructions very closely. Very easy to do. I think the total number of screws, you have four screws, or four bolts, four serrated flange nuts, and six wood screws. And the wood screws are used to mount uh, the clamps onto the, uh, the front kick plate or front plate or cover to it. Um, the main reason why I replaced the old couch, and again I've disposed of the old one, but they use the cheapest material possible, and it's not real leather. It's, this is vinyl, and this may happen to this too in a matter of time. But with all the use that we give it, that covering was just peeling off or flaking off like uh, paint. It just it did not hold up. And we end up just putting blankets over the top of it just to make it look halfway presentable. So hopefully this is going to last us a few years and it still has kind of bumped up the appearance of the inside of the camper. YouTubers, here's another quick upgrade and it's a very cheap one. If you happen to have this type of a blind in your windows where there's just basically paper and the accordion style, a lot of times the strings will break. Uh, the, like I said, there's a string on each side here and it rides up and down on that and that will break. And rather than try to restring them, I found that there's another alternative that is a lot cheaper and a lot easier for a quicker fix. Now this is basically how it comes out of the box. It does have a guide to cut it with. But all you do is you read the instructions and it will have measurements on both ends. So if you're going to be cutting something down to 20 inches, you go down to the 20 inch mark on one end 
and the 20 inch mark on the other. That way it keeps it centered. You have to do that because there's a mechanism in here that you can't cut through. If you tend to take it down too far, you'll cut into that mechanism. These usually run right around $20, so they're very cheap. They have little end caps for them, and they tell you to cut that in or take that end cap off. You put the guide over the end, and then you just take a knife. You don't want a serrated knife. You don't want a saw. You don't want any, anything other than just a regular straight knife. And you just simply cut right through the plastic and the styrofoam. When you get done, you put the cover back on the end. It'll look like that. And then it gives you the decorative cover that goes on the end. And then you've got tape on it. You peel that tape off. And then the next thing you do is you'll just mount this to the bottom of where your blind is. Uh, this isn't the same kind of a blind, but it would just simply mount up to the top. You just press it up, make sure you hold it for a second or so. I'd recommend doing it like in a warmer day and let it set. Because if you don't do that, it's cool inside the camper or you, it, you know, it's a cool day out. The weight just might just pull it down. Once you've got it up, it just simply opens and closes like an accordion. This happens to be the one that I have in my uh, bedroom that I have to replace or put back up. So, but it's all done and ready to go. But it's kind of hard to put it in there uh, with the camera because there's just no room between the bed and the wall and the window and everything else. So I figured I'd show you out here in the living room and kitchen area. And like I had said, all you have to do, pull the tape off, put it up top and just press on it until it stay, you know, you feel comfortable that it's going to stay. No need to glue, no need, there's no screws to do. And then that will hold it up. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Rec Pro Charles RV Sofa Sleeper and the Easy Lift Shade by Ready Shade. And if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And most of all, thanks for watching.